Welcome to Hydra Raven. I took Jeb Gardner's Green Onion Challenge. Link is in the description. To take the Green Onion Challenge, you need to grow your own and then eat one on camera. So first, let me show you how I grew it and we'll go ahead and have some green onion. Let's get our green onion started. I'm using some Tokyo long white bunching onions from our good friends at MI Gardener. We will be doing one in one bucket using clay pebbles. And in the other bucket, we will be using rock wool. As you can see, that one and a half inch rock wool does not fit in the one inch cup. So what I do is I cut them down into quarters and since there's no hole there now, I just put a little space for the seed. I have grown green onions in rock wool, in cocoa, And in the clay pebbles. I like rock wool the best. It seems to be the most reliable. But Jeb Garner asked if I would give a try to grow the green onions in clay pebbles. What I do is, since the slots in my two inch net cup or so wide and the seeds most likely will fall all the way through is I get a couple extra net cups and if you put them together like that, hopefully you can see that, and give it a little twist so they overlap, that helps. It doesn't prevent it completely, but it does make a difference. So we'll do that and we will take, let's say three or four, maybe five. And we can always thin these out and get that one in. There we go. So we got five in that one and then we'll put in, uh, it'll probably just be easier to use my fingers two in each one of these rock wools. This is the green onion challenge, so I will be eating one of these raw, but I really want to start making fried rice. And to do that, I need green onions. So it's time to bulk up on the green onions. And there it is. We'll get these underneath humidity domes and put these underneath our Happy Leaf Grow Light. I should have mentioned that once these sprout in the clay pebbles, I'll remove these bottom two net cups. And I think for good measure, I will just go ahead and put a couple more clay pebbles on top. All right. Now we will get these underneath our Happy Leaf Grow Light. We'll put these underneath our Happy Leaf Procyon Series Grow Light. This is the 17 inch model. It uses a whopping 30 watts of power, which is amazing. I did a video showing how to mount Happy Leaf Lights both horizontal and vertical. You can check out that video. But with this PVC setup, to go from the horizontal to the vertical, it's a twist of the PVC. Kind of cool. And I found that growing green onions with the light coming in from the side actually works really well. 
and we'll put on our humidity domes, courtesy of Wendy's and their salads. And we'll check back when they sprout up, get them in some full nutrient and get this green onion challenge started. It is Saturday, October 24th. We have green onion. We have two in the clay pebbles. And then in our rock bowl, we have two that sprouted two, it looks like. And one that sprouted one. I have some nutrient ready. We're just gonna go ahead and throw these in straight nutrient. I have it to about an 820 TDS pH of about 5.75. Uh, the EC, I guess it would be about a 1.17, 1.18, somewhere in there. So, real easy. Just move it on over. Got a little bit of the clay pebble funk. Humidity dome is coming off. They're going back under the lights. It's Sunday, November 8th, and it is time to adjust our light. Set it vertical. I raised up the light a little bit, put it on some extra lids. I could also put in a longer piece of PVC pipe, but this just seemed easier. So in the clay pebbles, it looks like we have three going. And then in each of the pieces of rock wool, it looks like we have two. So let's go ahead and push these back, get them out of the way. There we go. Let's go vertical. And I like to have, oh, I don't know, about nine inches. To the onions, obviously the one in the back will uh, be a little bit further away, but they seem to do all right. They seem to like the light coming in from the side, so we'll keep an eye on it and check back in here in about a week. They're looking pretty good. One of the clay pebbles looks like it can stand to perk up a little bit, but I think it'll get stronger over time. The ones in the rock wool are looking pretty strong. I think we're going to go to harvest in about a week. Got a few going there in the clay pebbles, looking pretty good. Rock wool is looking pretty good as well. I'm excited. The onion is falling over. Not too bad. That is some good green onion. Smash that like. Thanks for watching.